Hello viewers, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install PyCharm on Mac. First of all, you need to um, open your spotlight by using the command spacebar key and, and search for terminal. Then we need to, we need to check the Python version that we have on our laptop. Normally, um, a, normally Mac MacBook comes with um Python package. So let's check our Python version. So my Python version is three point ten point eight. So I will advise you to um, if you don't have Python on your laptop you need to install Python 3 to, in order to install this um, PyCharm. So let's go. Then you can go on your browser and, and type PyCharm and install it. Sorry. So you click on, we are going to be using the, the jetbrain.com and click on download PyCharm. For this video, you're going to be downloading the community version, which is the free open source. Uh, we have professional and we have community. We are going to be downloading the community version, which is the free one. I click download. So it's downloading. So it's downloading, it will take probably 10 to 10 minutes. So let me pause this video. I'll come back after it finished downloading. So it has finished downloading. So we need to click on the download. So you now drag the PyCharm CE into your application. So it takes few seconds. Downloading. So now we'll go to our, you can close it now, close this one. Then we'll go to our um, launch pad and look for um, PyCharm. So this is the PyCharm we just downloaded. So click on it. So if you're opening it for the first time, it will verify some, to do some verification and tell you to acknowledge it. So you click um, open. Click OK. So the producers of this spy charm is BrainJet. So you click on new project. Well, we don't have to change anything there. You can change the name if you want. And it's showing you the, lo the location where the PyCharm project will be saved under user.ghost, which is my laptop name. So you click on create.
So this is your um, um, pie chart dot me. So uh, let me um, let me clean clean up this one. So let's write our first code, which is hello world. So let's click print parentheses. Let's type our usual hello world. So you click on the run, run me. So you see here, that's that's run it and print out hello world. So guys, this is how you set up um, a pie charm on your MacBook. Um, thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to my YouTube video.